Yo, what's going on guys? Crimson here and today I'm going to be going over a really neat tool that's going to help a lot of you guys out there if you guys are streamers, whether you guys stream on Twitch or YouTube. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, make sure to drop a like on it. But anyways, guys, let's get straight into the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything on, of course, Magical Program OBS Studio just because this program is honestly better than Streamlabs just because even though you have to do a little bit more work, it's definitely well worth it in the long run and you're basically gonna have to download OBS studio and once you guys download OBS studio you guys are gonna head over to the first link linked down below that was a weird sentence and you guys are gonna get to this website donationalerts.com and if you guys want to know kind of a brief summary of what this is it's like stream elements together with Streamlabs, and bam this came out it's basically a way to be able to customize your notifications your alerts everything like that and it's really easy to work with so if you guys just go to the website linked down below you click sign in top right and you guys have a variety of ways to log in you can log in through twitch youtube i don't know vk is smashcast i have no idea how to pronounce that facebook daily motion and mixer and you can of course make a website just on their own i'm gonna log in through youtube because that's what i have linked i also have my twitch link it just by the way i'm gonna click on the tech crimson because the other one's just my email so it's not really too important and as you guys can see right here we are in the main dashboard and this is what you guys would see if you guys are live streamers now as you guys can see I don't really stream too often on my YouTube channel and that is mainly because I don't find the time to live stream but I will get into it more often and I really hope that you guys are there to watch my terrible live streams. So basically in today's video I'm going to be covering how to use this program in general for your OBS benefits and you know just making it your life a little bit easier when it comes to notifications, interacting with your followers, subscribers, anything bit you know donators anything like that it's just going to be a lot easier to use so basically if you guys go to my donations you guys will see i have no donations my subscribers and you guys will be able to see that i actually added my twitch in here and as you guys can see right here i added my paypal you guys can add in your paypal and if you guys want you guys can add in your web money you can add in your mobile account you can add in a bunch of different ways to get your payment and it's just a really simple way to get paid basically and now if you go to settings and then you go to general settings you guys will be able to see all the accounts that you can actually connect i connected my twitch and youtube i have not connected anything else because i don't really think anything else is necessary uh, some of you guys might be facebook live streamers that's all up to you guys but for me this is what works best for me and of course these are some additional features that you guys can control then donation page this is pretty important because this is what people are going to see when they click your link i'm going to click the link that i have right here and this is what you guys would see if you guys were clicking my link basically my the tech crimson banner in the back my name my profile picture and you know my my name right here uh how much you want to donate usd rub or euros and then your message of course however whatever you want to put maybe uh crimson is the best um i don't know maybe something like that better than christopher yee i i i don't know something like that i can't spell properly but that's basically that and you guys can see right here that this is where you're able to customize it so right here it says uh remove and i'm gonna remove it just so you guys can see so you can select the file and i actually already have this here if you go to gallery you have a bunch of different things you can look at you can add in a bunch of different little gifts which i think are pretty cute mainly there's a little penguin gif it's adorable and you guys can just add that in but for me like i did say i'm gonna leave that at you know the tech crimson banner so i'm just gonna leave that there you can select a variety of things such as what your button color is going to be the color of the button itself and just a bunch of different things on it which i find to be really neat because it basically lets you go really really deep into what you're doing so that's pretty cool and if you guys want a qr code it's whatever you guys want to add that on, onto your stream people can just scan it on their iphone or android and it will go through and now moving over to alerts this is something i was working on actually so this little default alert i, have, I don't have it linked to anything but i'm going to show you guys how to add it to uh, obs so that's going to be pretty cool so once you guys are here you guys are just going to click on show the links and basically this link is for this entire group so this is going to be really easy you can just i don't know why i highlighted you can just click this little button and up here it says you have copied it successfully now i go over here i right click on obs and then i click a browser source i click that I could change this to notification, add that, and then all I have to do is simply replace a URL here and click that. And now that I have my little notification, I can actually test it now. And now you guys will be able to see it. I'm not sure if I will be able to see it, but here we go. We're going to do a little test alert. 
and look at that right now it's only the text because I don't have anything else but I'm going to show you guys how to add little things so basically you just click on it you click configure and then you guys will get this and this is basically how you're going to select every notification to make it very very easy you can select what you want it to be twitch subscribers donations or followers and of course you can select how you want to view it the image the image I'm going to add a little pinguino just because I think that's honestly too adorable to pass up so I'm going to go down here I'm going to find a little pinguino I'm going to click it I'm going to click save and then of course you can choose your sound I don't really know if I want any anything special um, I'm going to go with the oh yeah so I'm going to click that one I'm going to click apply I'm going to click save and the text this is basically what's going to happen when you know the alert comes up and i think that username well, that's going to be what the person's name is going to be is now following is perfectly fine so i just click that and then i'm going to click do a test alert and as you guys can see now we have the little penguino and it's just really really easy and as you guys can see if you guys want to make your own variation it doesn't have to be anything related to twitch so a donation or something you go here and you can select what you want and of course you can make it how However you want because it's so easy to customize everything and I just think it's really neat that there are a variety of programs that let you do a bunch of different things so you're not just limited to team streamlabs or team stream elements don't get me wrong they're both great programs but I think that having a third option is always a great idea and like I did say you just simply want to make it here so I added this and I just made it to uh, alert type donations and now that I click save Oh, forgot to put it I'm gonna put donations click save and then now I just copy it here again same link it all works exactly the same I could just add in this on top same thing all over click that and now that you have that you just drag it back to the middle you guys can actually right click transform and you guys could center to screen and now it's perfectly centered and now if I do, let's say a donation, someone gave me a million dollars. Click the donation and bam, look at that. Someone gave me a million dollars. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in for this video. I do think this is a cool tool that you guys could definitely check out. As you guys can see, my dashboard is completely empty because I haven't streamed anything. But I do stream occasionally on my Twitch and I am going to try to stream on my YouTube channel. It's just so much harder to make a stream that I want all of you guys to enjoy. So I have to find time for that and I need to make it perfect because I know you guys would never let it down if I did a terrible stream when this channel is all about tech anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go check out the tool down below let me know what you guys use for obs whether you guys use obs streamlabs whatever you guys use let me know also let me know if you guys found this video at all helpful because a lot of these tools can be very confusing and if you guys want to follow up video let me know because like i said these are very confusing tools and without a few videos that i watched i know for a fact i would have gotten lost and i can obviously be that guide for you guys and i want to be that guide because i want to inspire a bunch of you guys to start streaming and you know get your name out there become the next shroud anyways guys have a great day and i will catch you guys next time peace guys <laughs>